So you wanna try Facebook gaming, but don't quite have the nerve to pull the plug on YouTube Live or over on Twitch and leave your community alienated? Well, guess what? I have the solution for you. Stay tuned. Well, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna show you how to go live on Facebook gaming while at the same time going live on Twitch or YouTube. So that way you don't alienate your community that you've already built over there. And at the same time, it allows you to dip your toes per se into the Facebook gaming pool because here's the thing is it kind of growing a little bit a little bit smidge or whatever or with the downfall of mixer everyone kind of went over to the Facebook or we either went back over to twitch so it might be beneficial for you to check out Facebook gaming but at the same time not kill your time spent live streaming over there and leaving your community that you've built so far over on Twitch or say YouTube live today this video has been brought to you by restream.io if you want to live stream to multiple social media platforms and live platforms such as Twitch and YouTube well restream has the answers for you and not only that you're able to multi-stream to multiple Facebook pages where a lot of other restreaming tools will only allow you to do one and that's right it's free to check out go to livestreamingtech.com forward slash restream or click the link in the description down below and give them a try and i have to tell you i am a huge fan of the chat i love their chat the thing is is it brings all my social media platforms into one and it brings twitch and facebook everyone i can see what everyone's saying and hear what they're talking about and respond to them quick and easily and not alienate any of my viewers over on any of those platforms. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna open, open your browser and go to restream.io. If for some reason you don't have a restream.io account yet, go ahead and uh, type in a livestreamandtech.com forward slash restream or click the link down below in our description. Uh, but however, if you already have it set up, uh, you can continue and follow along with me. Obviously, if you're new, you're not gonna have these destinations yet, but that is where we're gonna to wanna to go. We're gonna to wanna to go to destinations first. If for some reason it doesn't take you there, right below the R in the upper left-hand corner, you're gonna click dashboard and that should take you to our destinations. So as you see, I already have my YouTube, I have my Periscope, AKA Twitter, I have my Facebook gaming, or not gaming group, I'm sorry, live streaming uh, group, and we also have our Twitch channel in there. We're gonna wanna go ahead and we're gonna add my actual Facebook gaming page. Now, if you haven't had your Facebook gaming page set up, you can actually just, once again, since you're already in your browser, go to facebook.com forward slash FB gaming home, and the first step is build your streaming page. It'll take you step by step and explain to you how to build your streaming page as a matter of fact uh bloop that card up above me and if you click that card it will actually take you over where we show you how to put together a uh, streaming page for yourself if you do not want to go through facebook's step-by-step -step process so back to restream here now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add that page that i have for facebook gaming we're going to go to facebook live personal profile now don't freak out i know you're sitting there thinking wait post personal profile i don't want to stream to that it's fine it's okay we're going to connect with my facebook here it's going to search for it and that's the thing if you already logged into facebook it's going to go ahead and scrub that browser and it's going to automatically tie it in with you and now it's going to give us a option here so i can stream to my personal profile i can stream to the public page or a uh, group live streaming community. Now we're wanting to add my gaming page that I made, which is my public page. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on that. And we're gonna hit save. Now it should update that over in the bottom corner here. Next, now I went to Facebook on my gaming page here. And here's the thing, if you're using the free version, just know this, that you're not gonna be able to stream to two different Facebook pages at the same time, at least not as of this recording of this video. You pay a little bit extra cash, you can actually do this. But for me, it doesn't make sense because that's my live streaming community. That's where we talk about live streaming issues, OBS, this, this, this and that, cameras, microphones, all that good stuff. Matter of fact, you might wanna uh, check that out sometime. That's in the description below as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna toggle that off. And once again, uh, since we do, uh, kind of tutorial instructional videos on our YouTube channel. I don't want to gain live stream to my YouTube channel as well. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to make sure that is turned off. So now Twitch, it makes sense that I would be gaming on Twitch and it makes sense that I'll be gaming on my Facebook gaming page and also to uh, my Twitter Periscope. And so we're ready to rock and roll. But first, we're going to have to go ahead and I use OBS Studio. But if you use Streamlabs OBS or XSplit, the process will be the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to bloop up uh, OBS Studio here. We're going to go into settings. Now, it might look a little bit different on yours depending on what version you're using. This is OBS 2.5 0.8. Go ahead and click settings. It's in the bottom right-hand corner. I almost said left. 
don't know my left from my right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click stream. Okay, now as you see, the service already has restream.io. I have my server set as to Chicago, Illinois. Now, if you don't know what server is going to work best for you, I would highly, highly recommend clicking it to auto detect. There's nothing wrong with that. I just found that uh, Chicago server works great for me at around this time of the day. All right, so now we're going to have to go ahead and we're going to have to update that stream key. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back over to the dashboard here. We're going to go to RTMP settings. That's in the upper right hand corner it's right just below the enter live studio we're going to click on that we're going to go ahead and we're going to click this double box blue icon here copy key now we're going to come over here we're going to take out that old key and we're going to paste this in here and then we're going to hit apply hit okay now we're ready to rock and roll so now we're going to be streaming what we have from obs studio over to restream and then restream is going to aggregate it out to whatever platforms we have chosen so now we're ready to rock and roll all we would do is hit start streaming and we're streaming not only live to our facebook gaming channel but we're also streaming to our twitch and our periscope as well definitely grab yourself a free copy of restream.io and that is livestreamingtech.com forward slash restream or click the link in the description and i will see you over in that video right there or maybe this video i don't know it depends on where we put it up at the very end i'll see you there